What time did you go to bed last night? 10.30. I went to sleep around 12. I fell asleep around 11 or 12. I went to bed at 11.30. 10.30. What time did you go to sleep last night? 1 in the morning. It's scientifically proven that teenagers have difficulty getting to sleep before 11, and their brains don't start functioning before 8.30. Yet in the face of these facts, schools are still starting before the recommended time of 9 a.m., making some kids get up as early as 5 or even earlier to get through their morning routine or to go to morning practice. Before 8.30, teenage brains are still very much asleep and a drowsy brain doesn't retain information very well. Puberty causes a shift in circadian rhythm, pushing optimal sleep time forward. By the time school starts, they haven't gotten close to enough sleep. Teens suffering from chronic fatigue often can't pay attention in school and have difficulty concentrating and remembering. Schools only started at such early times around the 1970s and 1980s to save money on bus costs before science had revealed the patterns for the sleep teenagers need. Reluctance to reverse a bad situation like this is understandable. Community life basically revolves around public school hours and any change in schedule inevitably stirs up opposition. But teens barely ever have a voice in these kinds of decisions. Adults have a vested interest in early start, early release school days, trumping the basic needs of the next generation who are considered to not be old enough to make decisions for themselves. If I'm old enough to apply to a college and make decisions on what I want to do with the rest of my life, I ought to be able to have a say in how early high school starts. Sure, there's stuff like sports, jobs, and extracurricular activities, but that's no reason to treat sleep like a luxury you can't afford. Sleep is an emotional and sometimes even moral issue for many people. And during the time when they're most unstable, teenagers need all the sleep they can get. Community life needs to adjust to school schedules, not the other way around. The true obstacles aren't fiscal, but emotional, dealing with fear of change and failure of dreams. It's not rocket science, just a shift in priorities.